kids, kiddos, children, boys and girls all around the world, and their parents too. This is Victoria Baker. I'm also known as Queen B underscore underscore star 389 music page, as well as Victoria's Handy Creations. And for anyone who happens to be an Elvis fan, there is a shared space from a group I created on March 30th, 2016. And that group is called Friends Who Love with a Heart After That. Elvis Presley in all caps, should you wish to join us. There are three questions. One of them is multiple choice. And I know the answers to that question since I am an Elvis fan and I happen to know a lot about him. So uh, the answers that I wrote are um, uh, questions that I know the answers to and one of them is multiple choice. And should you need Google for some help and research, you can use Google. That's okay. Just please don't call a friend and ask them because that's not exactly allowed. So please, you know, you can look to Google if you are in doubt because from what I learned in school, when you're in doubt, check Google. Okay, well, Google is the way of the world still. So is Amazon Prime. And here is my book, first book that I will read uh, to all of you guys that I mentioned earlier in, in the beginning of this video, called Fridays Are Special. And it was written by Chris Barash, illustrated by Melissa I Y or something. It's a I W A A I. I'm not sure if I got the pronunciation right or not on that one. So here it goes. Let's open the page. Uh, it says, What does Shabbat feel like? And our Fridays are special at the top. And does anyone know what Shabbat is? Or who celebrates it? I do because I have some Jewish friends. They do. So here's a little bit about that. An evening apart. In the Torah, brackets, the first five books of the Bible, and bracket, comma, the very first experience, or er, appearance, sorry, I uh, almost made a mistake there. Of the Hebrew uh, word kadosh, in quotes, holy brackets, refers not to a person, comma, place, comma, or object, comma, but to the day called Shabbat, period. Shabbat, the Jewish. Uh, Sabbath, comma, is a welcome respite from the chaos of the work week, comma, which is why the 20th century thinker rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel referred to it as a palace at the time. Wow, this is so cool. Uh, the family in this book takes part in a traditional Shabbat rituals, uh, such as lighting candles, comma, saying blessings over wine and or grape juice, and shalom, in brackets, braided bread, and brackets, comma, singing Shabbat songs, singing and gathering together for a delicious meal, period. Paradoxically, Comma, part of what makes Shabbat special is its very predictability, period. Every Friday night, comma, Shabbat returns like clockwork 
and offers an opportunity for the whole family to experience the comfort and joy of his rituals. Continue on the back flap. Okay, wow. Learning so much here. Yeah, so continued from the front flap. The more the merrier. Wow, this is awesome. The Jewish value of hash nasat or kim in brackets Hebrew for in quotes welcoming guests guests. So a new word we learned in Hebrew. And that was haknasat or kim. I don't know if I pronounced it properly. Hopefully I did. Uh, and that means welcoming guests. Wow, so cool. Holds true all week long, but has even more resonance on Shabbat comma, when people around us might feel especially isolated or alone. In this story, comma, grandparents and cousins come to share the evening. Many families make a point to extend invitations to neighbors and new members of their communities, inviting others to share a Shabbat meal makes the experience more festive for everyone, comma, get, and uh, guests, guests and hosts alike as well. So, uh, fair is fair. There's something fascinating in Grandpa's vest. And that was tiny coins. It's traditional not to work or carry money on Shabbat, which is why the grandpa in this story empties his pockets before sunset, giving his loose change to Sidaka, literally translated as justice. Uh, Sidaka, so whatever, is all about giving in order to make the world more just. Many families collect donations for their favorite charities in Sadaka boxes, small coin banks. Contributing the Sadaka before Shabbat and over holidays is a reminder, even during happy times, of the obligation to help others. To learn more, visit pjlibrary.org forward slash Fridays are special, period. If you may want to do that, you can. That's up to you. If you don't, you don't have to. Okay, so Fridays are special. I snuggled in my bed last night. Soft moon looked down on me. Now peeking from the covers, bright sun is what I see. My daddy's in the kitchen. His hair and hands are white. I smell the Friday shallot. We'll all eat some tonight. Cold air is Excuse my mistake. Uh, there's no is. Uh, tingles on my cheeks. Soft mittens warm my hands. Tovas tugging on my scarf. Snow sparkles as it lands. Yeah, has anyone seen snow in Australia before? We get a lot of it here in Canada in the winter. Oh my, sometimes way too much. Remember waking up up north? 
And like the snow is higher than our front door. We can barely get out. Not many lifts. Me way up high. I help pick leafy greens. Friday nights are special. We eat like kings and queens. This is an awesome book, everyone. I read it the other night, except for the flap there, and I just loved it. Nano holds me on her lap for stories and a song. Toba cuddles up with us. She likes to sing along. I hope you boys and girls are enjoying this. Uh, and children and kiddos, and um, the parents too. Who's that knocking the, at the door? My cousin's Ben and Jake. Yum. I smell warm cinema from Nana's apple cake. Did anyone find the doggy? And where's the little boy? There's another little boy too. Where is in a yellow shirt? Where is he? Okay. Let's, uh, flip the page and find out what happens. We're almost at the end. Okay, so the sun is almost gone now. My family gathers round. Coins plink. Plank. And grandpa's vest. In grandpa's vest. Uh, it's it's Zadaka sound. Wow, cool. yeah, the Sudoku sound. Uh, we all stand by the mantel. The candles shine so bright. I peek between my fingers. It's such a pretty sight. The matzo balls are fluffy, and the shallot tastes so sweet. As, as well. As there was no as well. I just added that. Uh, there's a period after sweet. Yeah. I crawl under the table. So many legs and feet. Wow. And what's under the table with him? Where he's crawling? Do you kids know? Children? Boys and girls? What's under the table where the little boy's crawling? Okay, now here's the best part. My favorite blanket hugs me. A pillow holds my head. Shma is whispered like a breath. I cuddle in my bed. Oh, I forbid the little boy. High in the sky, stars twinkle. I close my sleepy eyes, safe and warm, until I wake to see Shabbat sunrise. And he's out like all that. And for those children who happen to be on Australia, it should almost be your bedtime. It's 8.30, so it should be 10.30 in Queensland, and about 11.30 in New South Wales, so it could be past your bedtime too. But I hopefully, hopefully you enjoy this if there are any children still awake in uh, Queensland by chance at all. So you can be having trouble sleeping or in New South Wales or the rest of Australia, where I haven't been yet. Okay, have a great one, uh, everyone, and uh, do you boys and girls and children know who the Beatles are? They're pretty cool. Eventually, I'll be playing some Beatles songs, and I'm going to start with Hey Jude first. Okay, hope you enjoy those songs when you see them. They're pretty cool guys. And King, Elvis, Rock, Elvis Presley? Do you boys and girls and kiddos around the world know about Elvis Presley? 
I sure hope so. Yeah, he was totally amazing. Before my time, too, even. And I know way before your time. But hopefully if your parents are willing to teach you about him, yeah, I have a group. And like I mentioned earlier in this video. Okay. Have a great rest of your days here in Canada or wherever you are in the world at night. In Australia, where I've been before a long time ago, uh, between 2011 to, or 2010 to 2011. Uh, left in September and got back in April. So, yes. And, uh, We, uh, I'll see more people on Friends Who Love Elvis Presley, and I hope you enjoy what you see in our shared space group there. And uh, enjoy what you see. Yes, and feel free to share posts about Elvis related music, or if it's not Elvis related, it could be something that's very good and hopefully very much enjoyable for the rest of us to see. Thank you. And bye for now.